Meta, formerly known as Facebook, launched the segment Anything model last April, which has proven to be very useful. I have used it in multiple comfy UI workflows to achieve precise cutouts. More than a year later, the upgraded segment Anything 2 is here. It not only shows significant improvements in image segmentation speed and effects, with performance nearly tripled, but it also expands from the image domain to the video domain. It can provide real-time and accurate object segmentation for dynamic video content by storing and utilizing previously processed video frame information. The main difference between video and images is that the target you select may disappear in certain frames or be partially obscured, which poses a significant challenge to the model's processing capability. For example, in the child hide-and-seek video provided by the official source, we select the child's coat as the target. Initially, the stable tracking is expected, but midway through the video, he mischievously hides behind a large tree, completely obscuring his coat. The model doesn't forget its responsibility, when he reappears, it still accurately tracks this target. So how do we use such a powerful model in Comfy UI? In the upcoming video, I will guide you through the process step by step starting from downloading and installing the model and custom nodes, and then leading you through marking objects in a single image, marking objects in a video, and marking multiple objects simultaneously in a video workflow. The first step is to download the Comfy UI custom node developed by Kajai, who is a very impressive author. I have learned a lot from his shared ideas and code. This time, he managed to create this front-end plugin in just a few days, which is amazing. Installing it can be easily done with Comfy UI Manager or by using Git Pull, and its dependencies are very simple, so you can ignore them. As for the model, you don't need to download it manually, the custom node can take care of it automatically. Now let's start building the workflow. First, clear the current workflow and then add a load image node. Recently, the Ice Cream Tower workflow has been quite popular, which requires precise selection of landmark buildings for redrawing. Today, I will use this photo of the Temple of Heaven for demonstration. Next, add the recently installed SAM2 segmentation node and connect it to the image. Then, add a down load SAM2 model node, which will load one of the four models. If you don't have the model locally, it will help you download it. The four models are tiny, small, base underscore plus, and large, with increasing effects and decreasing speeds. This time, I will choose the small model. Since we are processing a single image, keep the parameter as single underscore image. When we process the video later, we will change it to video. All other parameters can remain at their default values. Next, add a spline editor node, which is part of the KJ nodes custom node. Its function is to assist us in locating the objects we want to mark. Now we will start modifying its parameters. Set the mask size to match the image size. And there are three options for the sampling underscore method. I think control points works better. The interpolation defines the type of line used for marking. You can try different options, but I prefer the default cardinal. Most of the other parameters usually do not need to be modified. Click on the bottom of the node to create a new spline. This is a professional tool used for drawing curves, and it will create a canvas that matches the size of the mask we just set. The size of this node is fixed and cannot be adjusted, so I will shrink the entire canvas a bit to make it operable. Right-click to upload the background image, which is the one we need to process, and adjust the positions of these three points to ensure they are on the object we want to mark, which is the Temple of Heaven. Finally, create a new image and mask preview node to observe the result. Click Run, and soon, the mask for the Temple of Heaven will be generated accurately. Let's try a smaller target. I'll choose the red one in the front. Adjust the points accordingly, and click Run again. It works perfectly with a great effect. The image has been successfully completed, now it's time to challenge video processing. Add a Load Video node, and select the video you want to operate on. I will use the recently popular video Chun Mimi by Shani Chuan for demonstration, 
there are many ladies in it. Let's see if the model can accurately lock onto the one we choose. For testing, I'll select just two frames and replace the previous load image nodes connection. As mentioned earlier, change single underscore image to video. The background image used for marking needs to be the first frame of the video, and its size should also match. Use these three points to mark the central lady. Click Run. And you will get two images with correct masks. I feel the white is not obvious enough, so I'll change it to red and run it again. It looks much better. Displaying the results as a video would be better, so I'll increase the number of image frames to 90 and add a video combine node at the end to merge the images into a 30 frames per second MP4 video. Remember to update pass underscore through in the preview node to true, otherwise, an error will occur. Click run. And the speed is very fast. Zoom in to check the result, and I am very satisfied with the outcome. There are very few flaws, and it's almost 100% accurate. Now let's try marking multiple ladies at the same time. Remove some unnecessary nodes. Add a SAM2 video segmentation add points node, and then add a points editor node. Just like before, create a new canvas and upload the first frame of the video as the background. Then select the central lady in white. Note that this node marks using a single point. Then, copy these two nodes and perform the same operation. Just dragging the small dot onto another lady. Remember to change the object underscore index in the second group of nodes to 1. If we need to add more, the numbers here should increase sequentially. Next, add a SAM2 video segmentation node to complete the connections. And the entire workflow is complete. Click Run, it processes quickly as well. Check the result, and both targets have been marked throughout. I'll adjust the transparency of the mask so it can be clearer. And run it again. How does it look? Not bad, right? I think Segment Anything 2 is an excellent and practical model, and KJ's custom node is also great. There may still be room for optimization in its usage, but the basic functionality is complete and worthy of being used as a productivity tool. That's all for today's video. I will include the addresses for the model, custom node, and workflow in the description. See you next time.